Hey guys, how's it going? Shinbob here, and today I've got another Crucible weapon review for you guys. So, ladies and gentlemen, today I present to you the 2020 AMR. So just quickly before I start talking about the weapon itself, I just want to clarify how I'm going to be doing this review and how I'm basically going to do all of my sniper rifle reviews from now on. So basically, um, I'm not as good as like NCUJ or Cruiser or Hush or any of those guys at sniping, so I can't just like jump into a gameplay live and have like two matches in a row and get like 20, 25 headshot kills. Um, I'm just not that good. Um, I'm okay and I love sniping, but I need a few more games to collect enough um, entertaining footage for you guys for sniper rifles at least. So the sniper rifle gameplay reviews aren't going to be live gameplay commentaries like most of my other weapons. They'll be more like this, just with me talking over some, I guess, highlights in the background. So I hope you guys are still enjoying that. If you do enjoy this one, uh, make sure to give it a like. Let's me know what you guys are thinking about the content. Um, if you're enjoying all the content with Rise of Iron, be sure to subscribe too. There'll be plenty more coming. So without further ado though, I'm going to start talking about the actual weapon. So as you would have seen, uh, the role I got in this thing is not too bad. Um, I've got Longview SLR, which is probably my third or second favorite uh, scope. Short games would have to be my favorite, but I really like this one because of the extra aim assist you get on it, and it's not too zoomed in, which is nice. Next over, I have life support, which is okay. I guess if you're in a bit of a tight spot, it can get you out of a pinch. Um, also got small ball there, just for a bit of extra range. Um, helps with aim assist a little bit. And of course, hidden hand, which really helps with aim assist. So this thing has pretty low aim assist um, as is, so all the help I can get is much needed. As you can see from the footage in the background, this weapon does have some shortcomings though. Obviously in the Crucible and in PvE as well, low impact snipers aren't the favoured sort of sniper. So I think this one is like three body shots to kill, which is pretty hard to get in the Crucible. So it's basically headshot or nothing. Now with this roll I got, the extra aim assist does help a bit with that, but at the same time it was pretty low to begin with, so it is a little bit tough. You'll see here in a few of the clips, um, I'll sort of show some of the shortcomings of the sniper rifle. I think one of them I get a headshot on a sunbreaker and it basically takes off like half his shield. So absolutely useless for try trying to take down supers. And if you don't get the headshot, you'll most likely get a body shot and an assist um, because trying to get three body shots is just too much. You get two max if you're lucky, if they're not shooting back at you, but otherwise you pretty much have to hit them. Don't kill them, run, and reassess the situation. As far as the handling of the weapon goes, it did feel quite snappy and light. Um, not the best I've ever had, but I would say it's it's probably similar to my longbow, um, although not quite as quick to zoom in because my longbow has snapshot, which is nice. Overall, I would have to say I'm a little bit disappointed that this was a sniper rifle Bungie decided to have as the post-match reward. I was kind of hoping they might have a higher impact sniper, seeing as that's a bit more appropriate for the meta at the moment and kind of what people are looking for. But if you've got good aim and you don't mind the low impact snipers, then definitely pick this one up and give it a go in the Crucible, especially if you get a good roll like this. I don't really have much more to say about this gun except for um, once I finished filming for this content, I pretty much dismantled this for light level on another sniper. So I think that kind of says enough and I'll probably do that with future versions of the gun that I get. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, it's really appreciated. Um, even subscribe if you're enjoying all of the content. Be sure to check out those videos down below. And until next time, just keep doing what you're doing guys. Cheers.